Jermaine. Yeah. Cole. Yes. <laughs> Yo, what's the word? Nah, listen, I ain't even gonna sit here and lie to you, bro. I've been MIA for the past couple of days, but you know why? I don't know. I'm not gonna keep coming with excuses. All I can tell you is that my boy J. Cole, he finally decided to break the silence. He said, listen, I know y'all been saying that I'm pussy, I'm this, I'm that, because I'm not responding back, and I'm slow, and I, and, I, and I did an apology video and all of this, but he's speaking right now. So you know the vibes. You better go react. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe to my other channels, my vlogging channel, my gaming channel. You wanna roll the 10k subscribers? J. Cole, let's see what you're talking about. I was gonna do this reaction tomorrow, but I'm so excited that I I just had to do it right now, low key. Already fucking with the sample. Already fucking with the sample. Straight and narrow, minimum wage jobs for the narrow, but still my mind was on the zeros. I think Oh my god, young Jermaine. Hold on, bring it back. Young Jermaine walked the straight line for um fuck. narrow, minimum wage jobs for the narrow, but still my mind was on the zeros. I minimum jobs from for dinero, but my mind was still on them zeros. Meaning I was already getting paid minimum wage, my mind was on the zeros. I was getting to that bread because you know I had to get some money in my pockets, but my mind was on them zeros. Jobs for the narrow, but still my mind was on the zeros. I fiend for the perks that was seen flipping birds, so we were skipping church, but my eyes was on the sparrows. Niggas flipping pies, spending thousands on a payroll. Shit, I wanna shine too. I want dimes too. Jealous niggas wanna know just how my rhymes blew. Mono we mono, I'm Bono, I'm you times two. Oh my fucking. Run it back. Run it back. Thousands on a payroll. Shit, I wanna shine too. I want dimes too. Jealous niggas wanna know just how my rhymes blew. Mono we mono. Jealous niggas wanna know just how my rhymes blew. Like, how did he get popping off of this flow? Come on, you know it was gonna happen, bro. You know it was gonna happen. I know I'm you times two. Now I'm bougie out and out. I'm you times two. Saying, listen, my rhymes blew because I'm you times two. Like, bro. One of me is two of you, pause, no diddy. Fountain blue, but never forgot the spot where I developed my plot. The dwell at the top, the veil where all my skeletons lock. If I could do it all over, then I never would swap. I seen good, I seen bad, had my melanin mocked. I seen lifelong friends turn to devilish ops. He said, I see my melanin mocked, which means people, you know, be always saying he's not a, he's not too black because he got a white parent and a black parent. They say a lot about, they say the same shit about Drake too, how Drake has a black dad and white mom, so he's not really considered black. And then they be saying the same thing with, I think, I think if I'm not mistaken, J. Cole has a, a black dad and a white mom. If I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken. He was saying that like, his melon is mocked. Like he's not, he's, oh, he too light skinned to, to be saying certain things or to be talking about certain things. Um, lifelong friends turn to devilish ops. You know, they say that when you get into that bag or you get into that different kind of system, you're not making, you, when you get into a different type of price range, like you're making your, your financial, like your, your pockets is different now. Your lifelong friends turn to devilish ops. They switch on you because they don't got what you got and they feel, um, that they're, how do I, how do I say it? They feel like they, uh, you have to give back to them. Like you have to help them since they've been there since day one. And when you say no, they switch, they turn into devilish ops. Mike and red leather try and tell them to stop. You better beat it for you see that heavy metal get popped. Oh my God. Mike and red leather try. I seen lifelong friends turn to devilish ops. I was Mike and Red Leather trying to tell him to stop. You better beat it for you see that heavy metal get pop. He was a mean ass wing with a hell of a shot. But if no team draft king, he gon' bet on the block. He 
If no team Jeff, if no what? Hold on. Not hearing these bars, and he gave the MJ ball with the red leather. I'm talking about thriller, thriller. Nah, come on. And then he said, but if no team draft king, he gon' bet on the block. block. But if no team draft king, he gon' bet on the block. Draft king is a betting app for y'all. Who don't? These are probably simple bars, but usually I don't be catching shit like this. I don't catch shit to the second, third, fourth listen, or even when I react to other reactors, break shit down. Down. That's when I'll be catching shit. A ball till he fall into the federal's knock. Mm. Just sit his ass on the bitch for moving callous with rock. Mm. You can't relate unless your father was. Oh my god. Run, run it back. Federal's knock. Just sit his ass on the bitch for moving. Hold on. He said. He want a ball till he fall into the federal's knock. He want a ball till he fall into the federal's knock. Not Federals, FBI. Sit his ass on the bench for moving careless with rock. And and sit his ass on the bench for moving careless with rock. He's using a comparison saying, yo, when a player, it don't matter if he's a star player, do something dumb, the coach, go sit your ass down. You need to think about what the fuck you do. Go sit your ass down because you're moving careless with the rock. The rock, which is a basketball. But then he's saying that people play dumb. Until the federals knock at their door for moving careless and sit them down in prison for moving careless with the rock. Talking about, you know, what they got on them. Relate less your father was not around and your mother went out and found someone else and they brought around Damn. and they salaries didn't combine Damn. when they married and brought you out Damn. of that poverty that you moved Damn. to a soft little part of town so that when you back in the hood you feel awkward about it now. Ooh, so when you Move back to the hood, you feel awkward about it now because you feel like you don't belong here because your mom found somebody to get you out of there because they they financial shit was different. So now you used to that lifestyle, lifestyle, but then when you move back to the hood, it's like, damn, I don't feel like I'm from here no more because you know, damn. Then your confidence start to drown, but the rapper gave you some positive thoughts so you jot them down. You jot them down. Wow, this is just go to show like people was like, oh, a lot of people saying K.1, which I truly do feel like, I, I think he did win. I'm not going to say him lie. I think K.1 did win, but I don't think that people... People was making this. I, I I do feel like he dragged out, not like us, a lot though. Like eventually, I feel like it got dragged out. I feel like Drake a lot. Like people were saying Drake was fishing for a hit, which makes a lot of sense because it's like a lot of his songs sounded like it would be songs that would be hit. I feel like if Drake, knowing the kind of person that K Dot is, if he used his lyricalness. A little bit more from well, I'm not gonna lie. That first push up, that was a good diss. Push up was a good diss. Family Matters was kind of three three songs in in one big thing. Uh, but K Dot definitely did have have the upper hand. Besides Meet the Grams, I don't count Meet the Grams. It was a great diss, but I don't I don't I'm not sure. Uh, supposedly that shit is fake, and if it's fake, then but if it's not fake, then you know what I'm saying. And I don't know. Um, a lot of people was like, people was sleeping on Cole, talking about oh he was scared and shit, bro. Cole, you can already see the bars that he put together, and he not even really trying for real, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, Benjamin Button, cold flows reverse time to find deliveries good as mine. You gotta search primes. I'm mm. scaling heights to find deliveries as good as mine. You gotta search primes, which means you gotta search primes of people to find deliveries as good as mine. Come on, and birds can perch trying to be something, hoping that peace comes to my cursed mind. One mm. thing's for sure that I've matured from my first rhyme. I learned long ago you can't please them all, and it hurts trying. Damn, in this game, you can't hurt, you can't please them all, and it hurts trying. You can't always try to please people, bro. You can't please them. Anything you say, anything you say, bro, you can't please them, bro. You, you can't. got is your name like Dirk. I'm smirking at niggas trying to be smirch mine. Of oh my god, like Dirk, I'm smirking at come on. Times with a fake get told it is wise. I can see hating both of your eyes, but the third's blind. So hmm. you search lines, but you struggle, which explains the puzzled look on the dull faces. The word finds. I hate what raps become, but like do not disturb signs. Can I get it if I see it's about the dough? 
They instigate the fuckery because it's profitable But singing stop the violence tools with dudes in hospitals I pulled the plug because I seen where that was about to go They wanted blood, they wanted clicks to make their pockets grow They see this fire in my pen and think I'm dodging smoke I wouldn't have lost the battle dog, I would have lost the bro I would have my pen and think I'm dodging smoke Wanted blood, they wanted clicks to make their pockets grow. He said, I put the plug. Plug because I seen where that was about to go. I pulled the plug because I seen by where, where that was about to go. They wanted blood, they wanted clicks to make their pockets grow. Wanted blood, they wanted clicks to make their pockets grow. They see this fire in my pen and think I'm dodging smoke. I wouldn't have lost the battle, dog. I would have lost the bro. I wouldn't have lost the battle, dog. I would have lost the bro. Basically saying, like, listen, they was doing, they really not, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I feel like it turned into something like a friendly competition, and then it ended up turning into something different. But he's basically saying, like, it was kind of sort of like a thing to make pockets grow. Like, they just wanted the bread, so they ended up, like, you know what I'm saying, doing what they did. And he was like, listen, my pen is too crazy, like... I wouldn't have lost no battle. I would have lost the bro saying I wasn't losing that if I would have jumped in. The game the phone and all for what just to attain some old props from strangers that don't got a clue what I've been aiming for. Dodge and smoke. I wouldn't have lost the battle dog. I would have lost the bro. I would have gained the phone and all for what just to attain some old props from strangers that don't got a clue what I've been aiming for since the age of 14. Jermaine is no king if that means I gotta dig up dirt and pay the whole team of algorithm bot niggas just to sway the whole thing on social. The Fonzie Rollin, who was paying? Who was paying? There was some allegations that my boy Kate I was paying for that not like us. Competing for your favorable memes to be considered best to live and rest the weight of both things I understand the thirst of being first that made them both swing protecting legacies So lines got crossed perhaps regrettably my friends went to war I walked away with all they blood on me now some will discredit me try wipe away my pedigree But please find a nigga out that's rapping this incredibly uh, my dog texting me Spin back, spin back. Competing for your favorable memes to be considered best to live and rest. The weight of both things. I understand the thirst of being first that made them both swing, protecting legacies. So lines got crossed, perhaps regrettably. My friends went to war. So I think he's basically saying, like, at first it was something friendly competition to make both pockets grow. But then in some in some case, lines have got crossed to the point where they both went to war and 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 I guess he just X'd himself out because in it, cause Cole isn't a, a yo, I'm going to do this for the money. I'm going to do this for the fame. He's basically doing it like, yo, I, I care for my craft. Not saying K-Dot and Drake don't, but Cole is more of on that, like, yo, like, I care for my craft. If it's going to be a beef, I want it to be natural. I want it to be, like, like on some shit like that and, and, and something that's, like, beneficial towards the game, not beneficial towards my pockets which is like you know they probably made so much money off of that beef with all they blood on me now some will discredit me try wipe away my pedigree but please find a nigga out that's rapping this incredibly uh my dog texted me i share the words he said to me if you refuse to shoot the gun don't mean the gun ain't deadly uh, i guess in that metaphor hypothetically the gun is me i text her back like guess a gun ain't what i'm trying to be my nigga they stripped me of my spot and now i'm finally free my nigga they say i'm picking sides they don't you lie on me my nigga to start another war hey drake you'll always be my nigga i ain't ashamed to say you did a lot for me my nigga fuck all the narratives tapping back into your magic pen is what's imperative reminding these folks why we do it it's not for beefing it's for speaking our thoughts pushing ourselves reaching the charts reaching your minds deep in your hearts creeping up find emotions to touch something Keda and Drake won the battle. Cole won the war. Cause what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this, Cole? Hold on, Cole. This one I've been with. Where the fuck is the fall off? Where is it? Come on. Not for me, my nigga. Fuck all the narratives. Tapping back into your magic pen is what's imperative. He said, tapping into your magic pen is what's imperative. Talking about listen, fuck, fuck the money. Tap into that pen. Back tap into that pen, that Jay-Z, that Nas pen. Stop playing with him. 
folks why we do it It's not for beefing, it's for speaking our thoughts Pushing ourselves, reaching the charts Reaching your minds, deep in your hearts Creeping up, find emotions to touch Something inside to open you up Help you cope with the rough times and shit I'm sending love cause we ain't prime and shit My nigga, y'all niggas ain't stopping me Beautiful, fucking beautiful, fabulous, fabulous. I take 14 of them right now. Spectacular, give me 14 of them right now. Fabulous. I knew Cole was going to do what Cole do. Because Cole always do what Cole do. No dick rod. I'm sorry, but Cole is the GOAT. Cole has always been the GOAT. Um, and right here should prove that if there was going to be any type of war at all, you feel me? Like, he's happy that he's got he's gotten taken out of that spot of, like, in, yo, who's big the big three? Kate out, Ar Aubrey, or me. Like, he's like, I'm happy I'm off of that already. And he basically saying like this, I guess this beef was, was planned. In his opinion, beef should be when a rapper goes and make another rapper push their pen. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, I'm going to start this beef with, like, let's say, for example, if I guess they were going to do, listen, Drake, Kada, Cole. We're going to do this beef. You feel me? We all going to try to make each other push our pens and also entertain the audience. You feel me? It's not for the money in our pockets. It's not for the fame. It's just so that we can show each other how we could show the game how impactful and how, uh, like basically how, how, like, basically showing their full potential within what they're doing, right? But then I guess Cole ended up seeing that, look, this was something different. This was something that they wanted to do for, for you know, some fame, some money. To get some money in their pockets and eventually it ended up turning into something that he knew that was going to be something that he didn't want to be involved in so instead he just pulled the plug made the apology video and let them do whatever they did but i feel like if cole was in that battle drake was definitely not winning i'm sorry i fuck with drake but drake was not winning against cole and k dot i don't know i feel like that right there I need to see a K-Dot and Cole, bro. I need to. Organic, though. Some organic shit. Some shit just to push their pens. Just to show the people. Just to, to, to show themselves. You know, a little friendly battle. Nothing too crazy. But I feel like Cole. I, I think I'm always going to side with Cole, bro. On some body shit. I'm always just side with Cole. I grew up on Cole. But look, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We're going to roll the 10K subscribers. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. I'm about to go see other reactors react. Because y'all know I love doing that. I got to see other people's opinions. And I got to hear some bars that I probably haven't heard. Uh, and they heard. And they can dissect them for me. So, uh, I'm going to see y'all when I see y'all. Be be, stay, stay tuned. We're going to drop a whole lot of videos. Um, bye.